difficult. If you've got time on your hands, I think there's gaps in a day when you're sitting, possibly waiting. I don't know whether it's... But you are waiting, and then, the, of course, you want to smoke. It's different when there's people about, but when you're sort of doing something on your own and there's nothing else to take the attention, and before you know it, you've lit a cigarette. It's, a, it's, it's, it's very difficult to explain, but I think any smoker of 40 cigarettes knows how I feel. Stopping smoking is, is resolving a conflict. On, on the one hand, wanting to smoke and having it really fully integrated into your life. Um, you know, every time you turn around, you light a cigarette, and you, you, you build up a, a very powerful illusion that the cigarettes are really assisting you in your life, really enhancing your life in some way, giving you a, a real boost somehow. And then on the other hand of, of the conflict is um, wanting to stop smoking wanting better health or to, to be rid of uh, the cough. And it's being able to hold both of those things and really think them through and make a positive choice about them. Because that it doesn't make sense that they're ever going, that, you know, one day they're just going to wake up and drink the coffee and it's not going to occur to them to smoke five cigarettes. Um, smokers come in to my classes wanting um, mag the magic magic pill you know suddenly the whole problem will just disappear and cigarettes will just disappear like really off the face of the earth